This video is brought to you by DIY OJ custom jerseys and hoodies. You can check them out in the link in my description box. They make custom printed on demand the way that you want it, the size that you want, the colors that you want, the number you want. You can get the BEL team, you can get whatever team you want. Check them out, they got hoodies, they got all kinds of colors. That's what I was most excited about. For those of y'all that have been following my story for a long time, I have played all kinds of sports growing up and I've worn so many jerseys, I don't even know where to begin with them. And there's a couple things that I look for that I was really excited about. One of them is how the actual jersey fits and how it actually is shaped. I liked. I like how this one sits. It's comfy. I can wear a shirt underneath it. I don't have to wear a shirt underneath it. It's not itchy. It doesn't scratch. It doesn't bother me or anything. Another one is I, the actual labeling has stitching on it as well. So I, I used to have issues where any of the print on or any of the tag on stuff, my name, my numbers would peel after getting washed so many times. And I don't think that's going to happen in this one. I love the colors, the rich, vibrant colors. It's been fantastic. My friends, check them out at DIYOJ.com and you can get a 10% discount by using the discount code in the description box. My friends, let's get back to the video. Turn on the radio. What is going on, my YouTube friends, my Patreon friends? How we doing today? Uh, what do we got going on? It's Christmas Eve, my friends. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Uh, this is a Patreon request from my friend Jordan, and uh, I'm looking forward to this one. We're doing a few Christmas ones today. Hope you made it safe to your moms. Tell her I say hi. Uh, my friends, this is this is the Temptation Silent Night, and so I asked Jordan for a Christmas song that he grew up listening to, because I only thought that the Boney M one was, I thought that was the only Christmas album there was <laughs> for a long time, for a long time. So I'm excited. I haven't heard this. I'm looking forward to this. I hope some of y'all um, are going to enjoy this one too. I don't know how much, how much breaking down I'm going to do, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into it. We're going to have fun with this. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check me out on Patreon. The link's in the description box. My friends, uh, what else? Let's put it. Let's do this. I'm going to put my headphones on. Your vibraphone, cool. Twas the night before Christmas. Cool. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. In my mind. I like the uh, the voiceover thing. So I saw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk a little bit, it's Christmas. Um, I saw trans Orchestra when I was 16 and they had like a narrator the whole time and I just, I dig that, I dig that. So this is like, that part there was really neat. Plus the vocal like going nuts on top, come on man. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. In my mind I don't know what year this came out, man, but like sonically, sonically, this is so pleasing. The bass and the kick drum. Like, I'm trying to imagine what the studio would look like. And again, I don't know what year this is, but if this was at a time where they were limited on inputs, if they did it with four microphones, so it would be a four mic setup. So you, you prioritize a couple things. So in this one, it would be kick and snare because you have the, the kick going along with like this bass that's driving and then the cross stick you need to stand out. And they could do that with overheads too, but I'm assuming that they would have a kick mic and a snare mic and then probably two either low placed overhead so microphones are going to pick up the toms and the cymbals and like resonance and room noise off the snare and stuff or they kind of like offset them so one would be like a pencil condenser that shoots across the snare drum so you kind of get the side snare drum feel as well as the tom and the ride and then you could have one like over the shoulder looking this way that gets you more toms and a little bit more ride again because the crash cymbals are gonna be loud anyway um it could be like a full mic setup but i'm just sitting here appreciating the kick and the snare like specifically right so that's why that's why if it is a four mic i think that those would be the priorities um, but I'm just kind of projecting a little bit. Cool. Oh, that's where we're starting? Okay. Young bird. 
Wow. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. And like, that was, a, that was a high placement to start. It was a high placement for the verse, right? Like, I don't think that was that. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I just don't think that would be an easy way to sing this and like just choose to sing it that way and like make it sound so smooth is, I thought it was beautiful. And when the voices all came in, all the like choir and everything, just like <laughs> stunning. Put a smile on my face, my friends. Um, I wish I knew the singer's name. Um, whoever was singing that verse, it was like a lot of really interesting thing happening, things happening. So silent night, like it was very, very matched in the vowels, right? But it was very much like, okay, so you could say the word I, but the shape of the inside of your mouth would be doing ah, right? And that'll take away some of like the shrillness, some of the brightness and stuff, especially when you're singing that high in like a register. Um, but like all the syllables were just perfect, weren't they? Did they all match? Like the sigh and the nigh part, like bang on, bang on. I thought it was stunning. I thought that was that's like that's like, that section was worth almost like taking note of for when you're in the studio. You know what I mean? Like this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Piano run there. Oh, that's gonna be neat. That's gonna be neat. The little piano run there was really nice. Mid voicing. It's like a Rhodes or something. Doodle doo doo doo. I like that. I like that. The low voice. My goodness. This whole thing, this whole thing is just stunning. Just stunning. So like the baritone voice man is cool because so much can get lost when you're singing that low. But the way that he approached like the runs, the riffs, even just like how he like adapted the melody, I thought was like very, very clever. You know what I mean? Cause like you can follow along, but it's like impressive. It's technically impressive still. It's not overdone or anything. And it adds to like, it just shows how rich this low baritone voice is, right? Instead of just being like, you know, just filling out parts or filling out kind of space, stuff like that. Like, this is so cool, man. I like the transition to the, to the, back to the tenor, I think. Um, with like the rasp and the grit and everything too. Come on, man. Come on, man. What a joyous Back up top. Oh, cool. Watching the. I like that. If I had one wish in this world, it would be that all men would be fine. Let's all go.
That was a high bend too, man. I was started high and then he bent higher too. Need like play with dynamics there too. Feels like a piano almost in voices. gentle that like top note is the ah, but just like it feels so like like compressed like held back so like if you if you compress the airflow before your vocal cords then you get vocal compression instead of like outward compression um and it just it just feels like so refrained but it's still got this like rasp almost air to it right like this pressure to it i like that i like that Temptations. And from the BEL team. <laughs> I love that. I love, I'm assuming the narrator was the baritone voice too. I love the the mix, the back and forth, the like handoffs between the, the, the chorus, the choir, and like the lead vocalist, the like road piano or organ in there that was playing too, man. Like what a, what a just dream, what a scene or scenario, or I don't want to say scenario, scenery, visual, right? Like I know we have the visualizer, but it just, Stunning, stunning. That one like, it's like set me up for Christmas and I like that. I like that. My friends, Jordan, everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. See you again soon. <laughs>